I've um, picked up the material. There's two pieces there, one inside the other. Um, just working out where the pivot point light's going to go. So it's, it's still in my head in a fair bit, but yeah, just going to wing it and see what happens. So certainly testing the mind, I tell you, but it should work. Right, yeah, so what we're going to do here is bore a hole. Open up a fraction over an inch. This will be the pivot pin for where the um, the main arm pivots off. It'll be cut off here and it'll have a boss made up that goes inside. And then weld it in, obviously. That's where the pivot pin will go through. So see how it drills. We got 209 thou to come off that diameter. This is going to be the um, or the the bush that goes through that where I've just bored them holes. Just have an inch bored hole in the centre for the pivot pin. So bring this down to um, 1288 thou. Which when I made them bored them holes, I just yeah just went to any figure and just going to make this to suit. Don't want to break a chip today, eh? Bastard. So 108 to go. That there we're a thou up. Oh well, we can live with that. Could open the inside up to an inch. So three inches, this is four inches long, which for some reason I had in my head was meant to be four inches long this bit, but it only has to be 75 mil. So there you go, mix of metric and imperial. So it's meant to be 75 mil long, not not hundred mil long. I screwed up there, so I'm just gonna drill it to 75. Or probably 80 mil deep when I part it off, it'll be clean. So, yeah. Radio, that's at about one inch, four thou. 
uh, want a little bit of room for some grease. I'm not worried about this outside mark on here from where this wolf caught up on the tool. It's going to be covered up anyway inside the tube. So that can be welded in there now. Doesn't need to be welded in heavily because it can't go anywhere as long as it doesn't rotate. So just a couple of good welds, just in a couple of spots. The pin that goes through here is going to have a grease port in it, so it'll be able to yeah, it'll get greased. I'm going to make the pin to go in that bush I just made, so 120 long down to an inch to fit that bore for that bush and then it'll have a 10 mil shoulder on the end like a yeah, larger diameter obviously you'll see what I mean so this is the same piece as I made the, the boss out of the bush it's an inch and a half got to take it down to one inch They're hot. Got to check to see if we've got any taper in this as well. 50, 75, 85, 86. 75, 85. 86 no taper that's good so 86 there to come off oh dear five thou under Um, it's five thou under the inch, so if that, if I've screwed up and made that a bit small, I have to make it again. I know I've got to have a little bit of play in it, but maybe that's a bit too much. But yeah, we'll just see how, it, see how it fares once I get it together. That's the main pivot pin done. There's two plates here welded together. So these form the two, basically the hinge. So this has got to have a bore put in here for that pin that we made earlier on. And then a radius put on this end. Okay, I've got to make that out to an inch now, the boring head. Oh, 
one inch eight there which is good a little bit of play Well, fast forward a couple of hours and a fair bit of stuffing around, that's where we got to. And just trying to nut everything out, make sure everything's going to hinge, work, look right. Hopefully, I think I've got it. Well, again, I've done it. I've hop, skipped, and jumped forward a bit more. Don't know where that light under the door's glaring shit out, but what I've gone and done is made the two ears up that holds the ram in position. Um, I've tacked them on and I've run the cylinder from all the way out to all the way in. Um, as it sits there now, I've got five foot from the floor to the center, basically. This is also gonna have a two foot extension as well. So, I don't think it's gonna need many more height than that. And when it's all the way down, the tip up here goes within about two inches of the floor, roughly. So, that's going to do. So they're pretty basic them. I think you've seen me bore the holes. I've had a few interruptions today. And I just, yeah, just doing it in between interruptions. And just decided to get into it and get it done. So what I have to do now is put a block in here so these don't pull in or pull out. Um, and then weld these fully inside and out and I'm also going to put another brace across across here and that should take care of all that but stick weld all that in it's not going to give any trouble then and we're good to go so I'm pretty pretty stoked with the way that looks it's come up pretty good One stayed square. I may have pulled a little bit, but when I weld the inside, it might pull back. Good. That's it for me today, I've had a gut for.